I want to talk to you about kissing. Now I'm not about to stick my lips on you and start snogging you. I'm not talking about kissing that way. I'm talking about kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. That's what I want to talk about. There's quite a few people that have emailed me about how they like my jumping spider shots. But they're struggling to get shots of jumping spiders themselves. So I'm going to take you through a method now on keeping it so simple that you cannot fail to get a shot of your jumping spider. So as you know, I normally do a setup scene like this. We've just uh, had a look at the new Godox flash and I've got this nice scene set up here. We're going to bin all that. We're not going to bother with any of that. And what I want you to do is I want you to get your jumpy spider, whether it's a wild one or a pet one, it doesn't matter, and just get some sort of texture onto your table. Now, I have the, um, the luxury of having a very nice table, so I can actually use the table itself as texture. If you've not got that, it's just plain white or it's really scuffed or, I don't know, pink and purple. Then you can take a texture card, like the ones you can get off my website, a link in the description. You can place that onto the desk, have your jumper spider crawl onto it and just take a picture and get something like this. Very simple and easy to do. Another thing you can do is just take a towel or a cloth of some sort. This is just my cloth I use for cleaning my, uh, my desk and just use that. I'm going to take you through that now. And what I want to do is I need to adjust my flash because I want a nice soft flash. And unfortunately, this isn't going to do the job. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one off. This is why I hate it when Laura use these UV glasses on the front of their um, lenses. Because whenever you put an adapter on and try taking it off, it just, you know, the, 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 the adapter, just, the, the UV glass just comes off instead of the, uh, the adapter. What I'm going to use here is I'm going to use something I've not used before. I don't use these very often, but this is a tripod collar. And this is specifically for my 100 millimeter lens. Place that on here. And again, in case you haven't watched it, we've unboxed this flash on a macro Monday. And then on this video here is where I'm giving you the first impressions. And I haven't yet had time to DIY a solution for the type of lighting that I like with this flash yet. That's going to be a video that's going to be done in the future. But for now, I'm just going to makeshift something, okay? So what we've got here is we have a little screw adapter that came with the um, potty pod. This will attach to the tripod collar, allowing us to place a flash onto it. And take the adapter. This will allow us to use a cold shoe on our flash. That comes with the flash. And unfortunately, um, where the screw stops screwing in, it's not lining up. So now just to stop that twisting, again, this is just makeshift for just this video. I'm just going to take some blue tack and just wedge it in there like that. That'll just stop it twisting on me. And then I'm going to take my trusty Crafty Bells diffuser, pop that onto the front. This is the diffuser that I liked that uh, gives the nose nice reflections in the jumpy spider's eyes. Okay, so I'm going to turn my modeling light, light on. There's 10 levels of this modeling light, by the way. I'm going to set the lens to around one to one. And I'm going to take a picture of the desk, this background card and the cloth. And then we're going to get the jump out and we'll take a picture and just to show you how easy it can be to do this type of shot. So let's take a picture of the desk. There we go. So we're going to use the background card. And what's key is whatever desk or surface you're using it on, put it right to the edge. Because if you get to the edge, we can get our camera below the height of the desk so we can get really low down. Now let's have a play with this cloth. And what for this one, I will literally just dangle it over the edge so we've got a nice smooth transition. And of course, if you want to be a little bit creative, we can roughly it up just a little bit. Take another shot. And there we go. So what I want you to do is pay no attention to my camera setup or the settings that I'm using. All I want you to do 
is just keep your scene very simple. Let's get our jumper spider out and I'll show you exactly how this is going to work now. Now in typical true fashion, as soon as you put a jumper spider down your desk, he's going to try and run away. This is where it's useful to have some sort of substance like a background card or a cloth on the desk because then we can simply just turn it around and get the jumper into the position that we want. So I'm going to bring my camera over here so I can be really quick on the uptake and grab this jumper shot. Okay, there we go. And again, we're just going to focus right onto the eyes, fill the frame up with the jumper and take a picture. Do you want to learn more about photographing jumpy spiders? Then check out Rose, how to photograph your pet jumpy spider. In this video tutorial, I show you everything I know about photographing jumping spiders. And for the next 48 hours, it's got a massive 70% off. So grab your copy while you can. Now, back to the video. So that's with a, just a normal cloth that you'd use to clean your tables or your TV, maybe. Let's pop him onto a background texture. Now this will be a little bit harder because the background texture is a lot smaller than our cloth. Now at first your jumper is going to run around again, he is going to do that, but at some point he will settle down. Okay, so he's, is he settling down here? He's settling down, let's have a look here. You can see there just how easy and simple it is just to throw a little bit of texture onto your desk and put the jumping spider onto it. Now there's no secret or magic potion for getting your jumping spider to keep still. The jumper is either going to keep still or it's not going to keep still. What I found is if you've got a jumper that does like to run around, let it run around and eventually it's going to tire itself out and it will want to stay still. If not, another option that you can do to keep your jumper still is to give it some food so that it's basically it's preoccupied while you're taking the shot. So there we go. That is KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. The simpler the shot, the more chance you are going to succeed at getting the shot. Once you've mastered the simple shots, then you can move on and start doing something more and more extreme, like setting up different scenes and multiple lights. Any questions you have about this simple setup, then let me know in the comments below or hit me up on social media. I will do my best to answer them. But for now, that's where I shall leave it. I want to thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. I'll put that into my lens uh, holder. No. And I'll see you on... Almost had that. Any questions, let me know in the comments below or hit me up on social media, but that's where I shall leave it. I want to thank you for watching this particular video and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, well, that's that then. <laughs>